Hi, welcome to Bioblog. Today we are going to discuss about prokaryotic genomic organization. In prokaryotic genomic organization, you will find that chromosome of the prokaryote is not organized into a nucleus, rather they stay independent. Where in eukaryotes, you will find the chromosome is actually present inside the nucleus. If you uncall the highly condensed chromosome, you will find it is highly uh, it is very large in length as shown in this figure. So what are prokaryotic genomes? Taking as an example of E. coli, you will find that around they are having 89% uh, of coding sequences. That is it codes for amino acids. And total there are 4285 genes including 122 structural RNA genes too. Sometimes you'll find in E. coli chromosome prophage remains. That is, when a phage in a lysogenic cycle, certain amount of genes does get inserted into the chromosome. And then you'll find some insertion sequence elements also, certain sequences also inserted. Horizontal gene transfers is one of the good mechanisms we'll find in E. coli where they can transfer some amount of the genes to other bacteria. In the prokaryotic genomic organization, they are having haploid circular genomes where in eukaryotes, most of the eukaryotes you'll find it is diploid. They have wonderful uh, regulating system that is operon where there, the multiple genes are regulated by a single promoter. That is, that's why they are known as polycystronic. But in uh, eukaryotes, you will find that each gene is regulated by a single promoter or a regulator. In environment specific genes on plasmids and other types of model, mobile genetic elements are also present. And most of the bacteria undergo asexual reproduction but in case of like um, in when the genes get transferred to other bacteria for one bacteria they are known as sexual reproduction and transcription and translation do take place in the same compartment but you will find in eukaryote the transcription takes place in nucleus and translation takes place in cytoplasm but here they undergo at the same place if you go to the hierarchy of gene organization from the order of ascending complexity, you'll find that most, the simplest unit is the gene. Then what is come is the uh, operon, that is set of genes regulated by a single promoter. And the op next to operon is the reglon, that multiple genes are controlled by the same regulator. And that is multiple genes are regulated. And there's more than a promoter having a regulator which controls whole the mechanism of operon. Then comes the modulon, that is genes modulated by same stimuli. So when it, there is a need of stimuli, then it undergoes the synthesis of certain genes, like synthesis of proteins and further. It undergoes a certain work by the bacteria. And then what it comes is the element that is what are present inside the bacteria. There is plasmid, chromosome, and phage. In case of plasmid, it is an extra chromosomal DNA. In chromosome, it is what is only its contents for the a single bacteria. And phage is the invading phages bacteria. Uh, oh, sorry, invading phages. DNA which is get incorporated into the chromosome and this total set is we will find no, are known as genome. If you go to the classification there multiple bacteria has been identified and multiple projects and papers be published for the complete genomic sequences and you will find that there are more prokaryotes been identified than eukaryotes. So happy learning and stay ahead for gaining knowledge all the time. Thank you.